Now, South Korea's ruling party has clinched a landslide victory in elections, widely seen as an endorsement of the government's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. Voter turnout hit a near 30-year high. South Koreans have handed President Moon's, uh, Moon Jae-in, a Democratic Party, a 60% of the seats in Parliament. It's the biggest majority for any party since 1987. Lim yun suk reports. Most South Koreans have predicted a win for the ruling Democratic Party against the main opposition, United Future Party. But grabbing a total of 180 seats is unprecedented. The 300 lawmakers in that National Assembly and the ruling party now accounts for about three-fifths, which means that the ruling party will be able to pass most motions and bills and also allow President Moon Jae-in to run state affairs smoothly during his remaining term in office. One expert said they could do almost anything except to change the constitution as that would require 200 votes. The ruling party and President Moon have vowed to do their utmost to address this coronavirus outbreak and also the economic issues facing the country. Meanwhile, Hwang kyo Hwan, head of the main opposition party, resigned immediately to take responsibility for the party's defeat. And the chief of the Conservative Party's election committee, Kim Jong-in, also promised to work with Liberal President Moon Jae-in. Some of the issues that are expected to be tackled soon include passing bills that have been put on hold in Parliament, allowing President Moon Jae-in to carry out his economic reforms, and also reform the prosecutor's office, one of the top priority for President Moon. He wants to set up an agency to probe corruption among high-ranking government officials and also give more investigative authority that the prosecutor's office has to the police. The election victory will also mean President Moon Jae-in won't change his foreign policies toward Japan or the United States and push forward with his engagement policy towards North Korea. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.